I remember when I left um, Southall to go to university and when, uh, when I was asked where I was from, I said, I'm from Southall. And it was like, oh my God, you're from Southall. Uh, and it was this image people had of Southall, that everyone who came from Southall stood up. They were, they were not to be you know, messed around with. They were a force within themselves. And we've been proud of that legacy ever since. Most of them, in the beginning till, I should say, 1963, were from the rural areas of the Punjab. Naturally, these were not rich peasants. But just before, or immediately after, the Commonwealth Immigration Control Act of 1962, then some people who were educated people from the towns and cities as well as the retired soldiers, I mean, they started coming in. He came here in 1957 and um, he did what a lot of young single men did at that time, you know, came with an address, you know, um, and was asked to go to this address for somewhere to stay in Southall. And like a lot of people at that time, he was like one of many living in the house, you know, contributing to the cooking, the cleaning, trying to find work. Um, so that's what he did for the first few years. When I reached here, and uh, uh, the person who was supposed to be receiving me, he didn't turn up. He used to live in Edinburgh. In India, I knew where Edinburgh was. I thought he would come. He didn't turn up. You know, something happened. He was a doctor. And uh, then I just uh, caught the taxi and ended up in South Hall. Everybody said, it is South Hall where you can go and uh, you will be welcomed by our own people. That's exactly what happened. English people or the indigenous uh, people, they would not uh, give us the rooms. Uh, it was not easy to get. So all the time our people was looking towards our own people with houses and everything to, to give us the room or the rent us the room. Mukanna di mushkilat bahut si ki. Te os vele ta e bhi si kabe kai kai karana vete daas daas pandra pandra bande apne rin de si ki. Lekin aap se vichi ona da prem paavna badi si ki. Ye tho tak si pe jeda nama banda hoda si jina chakro kam te na lag jave te ode rashan paani da to ode rahesh hai onu free deti jandi si ki. Te jidna kam te lag jana फिर कहना पाई हम तो अपना भी शेयर पाद ना कराया दे ना राशन का अपना खर्चा दे तो साढ़े लोगों ने आपस में ही एक दूसरे की बहुत मदद करके इतने सैटल होने या सरवाइव होने बड़ा एक दूजे का साथ दिता है सिटी रूम का कोई हों नहीं ना मतलब कोई डायनिंग रूम हों पंजे पंजे कमरे ऑक्यूपाइड मतलब तुम एवरे ला लो तंजी सारे कमरे चाहो दे चार दे इन्ने का Christmas in Charlie Bandeski. Like a next door neighbor had no way shake and this gave it already toilet or Hargadi and the Zaida. But Jerry Jeskar Jabandes Yadas again, oh, Ilang Chelejandesi, Utejere, Consul de Bas, Lagioski, Utejake, Abra, Nato and the Sea of the Pichu. Southern Digalsiki, as he ਪਰਾਮਾ ਵਾਂਗੂ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵਾਂਗੂ ਇਥੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਰਹਿ ਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਕਤ ਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗੁਜ਼ਾਰਿਆ ਸੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਬੜੇ ਤੇ ਦੋ ਦੋ ਜਣੇ ਸੌਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਨੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਸ਼ਿਫਟ ਰਾਤ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਿਫਟ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਸੌਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਦਿਨ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਸੌਂਦਾ ਸੀ
ਪਰ ਸਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਆਧਾਰ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਸੀਗਾ ਸਖਤ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਐਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਮਾਈ ਕਜ਼ਨ ਵਾਜ਼ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਹੈਮਰੋ ਰੋਡ ਹੀ ਸੇ ਹੀ ਹੀ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਲਿਵ ਇਨ ਥੈਟ ਪਲੇਸ ਔਨ ਹੈਮਰੋ ਰੋਡ ਹੀ ਕਾਂਟ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਹਿਸ ਟਰਬਨ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ देयर ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ देयर ਉਹ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਇੱਕ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਦਾ ਰੇਚੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਕੌਂਸਲ ਦਾ ਦਰਸ਼ਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਹੈਮਰੋ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਕੌਂਸਲ ਨੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਤ ਕਰਤਾ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਆਏ ਤੇ ਅਗਵਾ ਦਿਨ ਸੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਮੋਰੇ ਉਹ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਆਏ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੇਖੇ ਤਾਂ ਅਗੇ ਨੰਗ ਆਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਵੀ ਗਾਂ ਜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੋ ਸੈਂਦੇ ਬਣ ਕੋ ਗਏ ਆ ਥੋੜੀ ਦੇਰ ਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹ ਫੇ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਆ ਗਏ ਉਹ ਫੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਚਲੇ ਗਏ ਫੇ ਫੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਿਕਲ ਗਏ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫੇ ਬਾਜ ਮਾਰੀ ਬੇਟਾ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਗੱਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿੱਧਰ ਫਿਰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਗਾਂ ਉਹ ਸੌਰੀ ਜਾਈ ਤੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਤੀ ਉਹ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਗਿਆ ਹਰੀ ਹਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੌਣ ਤੇ ਗਾਇ ਕਰਦੇ ਗਏ ਹਰੀ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਵਾਲਾ ਜਨਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਪਤਾ ਉਹ ਆਮ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਨੰਬਰ ਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਇਦਾਂ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਹਰੀ ਜਹਾਂ ਜਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਦਾ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ੇ ਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਲਾਲ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਇਹ ਪੀਲਾ ਆ ਹਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਦਮੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਨੰਬਰ ਪੜ ਸਕਦੇ ਜਾਂ ਸਿਆਣੇ ਸੀ ਜੋ ਤੋਂ ਆਏ ਸੀ ਜਿਆ ਤੋਂ ਸਿੱਧੇ ਸੈਟ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਸੀ ਉਹ houses i think is in the beginning a lot of people were buying houses two or three people together partnerships it was just a contract verbal contract between the three two people two or three people definitely my father's first house was in hambra road which was in in partnership with another person uh, and then when they felt that they wanted to part and then stop the partnership and they sold the part of the other half to the existing person and it was trust because the property would be only on one person's name and as long as you can convince the bank that you will be paying their mortgage you are okay the whole environmental situation in this country was different from where they came from you know from the villages as peasants self supporting communities and now had to work as workers in the industries when my father came to sato he started working in springfield bakery and that was one of the places uh, where a lot of our people used to work and uh, they used to anybody who was new who come and they'll find uh, jobs for them a day or two so it might be starting as a casual work first and then soon if there was an opportunity they become permanent so he soon became permanent in springfield bakery which is in hayes no in sato <coughs> Uh, n- near the airport there was a factory called magnatex limited when i went there i said well uh, i want the job he says can you speak english i said yes i am speaking english he says well i hope you are not uh, very educated i said no i am not if i had said i am a graduate and this and that they will say no you are over qualified we don't want people like you the first company who started recruiting punjabis was our wolf rubber factory when i came in 1957 there were about 800 indian punjabis work was very heavy on night shifts and uh, very smelly sort of you know the burning rubber and all that very smelly sort of job so because of the appalling working conditions inside the factory and very low wages people thought that we must form a union but uh, the management naturally resisted and then as soon as he started work in a factory realized that it weren't unionized starting setting up a union you know went from job to job because he'd get sacked the one i i'm most familiar with is the rockware company which was in greenford because i remember him talking about that one a lot because that was the one he unionized and changed you know actually got the union um accepted by the management company there at that time the people who were in uh, management or everything i'm not saying they all were the same but the general perception was they basically treated the indians as uh, second class citizens if there was a preference for job opening everything it was given to the white man first before they would give it to us we got whatever was left over te je kise ne tuhanu kam te ja gore ne tuhanu ਬੁਰਾ ਭਲਾ ਵੀ ਕਹਿ ਲੈਣਾ ਤੇ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਜਲੇ ਸੀ 
ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਗਾਹੇ ਬਖਾਏ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਜਾਂਦਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਾਰ ਵੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਸੇ ਸਟੈਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਈਵਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਲਾਗੇ ਲਾਗੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਈ ਸਾਊਥ ਹਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਕਈ ਪੱਬ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਇਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਮੈਨ ਕੇਮ ਫਰਸਟ women followed once men got houses or men got reasonably settled down then women came then children came at the same time so they had this fear all the time and uh, i i remember very few women in those days were working in good jobs my sister used to work in british airways uh, but they were mainly a menial jobs they were not according to their education they had it even worse because they were isolated in their homes um when they went out to work you know they again suffered discrimination not just as being asian um uh, but also being women who couldn't speak english very well so again they were working in factories dirty jobs you know my mother worked at the uh, airport she worked for boac at the time it was a cleaning job you know and catering catering um uh, helping to get meals together but it took her three buses to get there every morning you know and three buses back and then to come home cook clean do everything you know and then get up again and do the same the next day mom was always working but she worked from home she used to sew dresses right and she used to get it every sometimes from for the material and design or whatever and most of the time we used to go to the place where they sold the dresses which was in Northfields Avenue in Ealing I think there was a lot of spirit in our community that why don't we get self employment why don't we enter some kind of business so a lot of successful people in the business area not necessarily were highly qualified but very driven uh, in uh, by themselves to in- improve the economic situation by setting up some kind of businesses and a lot of businesses began to grow in south home as a result of that yes back in the in the beginning if you couldn't afford to buy a shop you you would um, start start at the lower level uh, which would be you could you could go and find a a stall on a saturday because the such a south home market used to run a stalls on saturday for general everything so um my brother started a stall holding a stall for for shirts selling shirts only men's shirts and then it became into men's and boys wear as well but i used to help him out on saturday at the stall whilst i was still studying then my brother later on bought a shop in south hall of of um, clothes uh, ready made clothes where you can sell them and um, then he also carried on that market stall for a quite long time because once the moved here there were the only asian shop we decided to open a shop do asian groceries importing um spices and things and to tell the truth there wasn't much of an asian community but asians needed a shop or somewhere to get their products and what they done they used to come from distance high wickham uxbridge central london all come to our shop and the goods were all our Oriental it was called Oriental Trading Company so spices and Indian food was brought across uh, we had our uncle and our aunties working there and um for instance Indian matchai sweets you couldn't get them from anywhere 